about to take this road trip to roll up right quick. Got my girl Marcine in the building, aka Foxy, Foxy Camp, you know what I'm saying? So we finna roll up, get on this perp before we hit the road, you know what it is, man. Free in the ground life, nigga. And it won't be in that situation where we can put you on a show. I know you're going to bring 100 people to rock out. 
You know, I want you to come to me like, yeah, you know, I would want to be a part of your show. But look, I've done this on my own. I've put together five shows, you know, and they're documented. I got, I got them on video. Check it out. So I can see that and then we can get together and take you to the next level. We do love your craft and your art, that should be the most important thing. I mean, you walk your car so when you get out of it, you walk your house so you leave it, protect your music. And I know Wendy and I will probably touch on a lot of the same things, but it, it starts with what you guys create and protecting it. So everything that's genuine and how you make money in music is the thing you don't necessarily see. It's your copyrights and your publishing. So protect yourself. You know, coming to me, after you sign it, your deal is too late. I have clients in the audience now, but no, 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 fine, no, fine. And then they come to me, and then I can't go back and fix something if you've already expended the money and things like that. So protecting your works, registering your copyrights, and knowing what and how to do things about the most important part. Well, the, the first record that I produced that had success had a Disney sample in it. <laughs> That would be with the why you work. Um, safe to say. <laughs> the, the good thing about it is that, that they didn't whip until after we sold the Django records and spent all the money before they came after us. And uh, they shut us down early on. And, uh, and I had a group that were, were more talented than that one record. So he came, went on to have a good career. but. We did the sample, and they shut it down and took all the money. That's, that's basically the ramifications that you have when you don't handle your legal business. And then, I tell any artist, there's no excuse for anybody in this day and age walks around saying somebody took advantage of them. If you don't have a lawyer, if you, you, or access to a lawyer, you, know, you call yourself signing contracts, management, and all that stuff, you don't protect yourself in 2012, that's on you, like for real. Yeah, I, I tell y'all like I was telling my kids, don't ask me, Google and shit. It's too many ways to find information. It's too many ways to find out who the right people are, who the reputable people are. It is the money, it is where your money comes from. That's the thing that you own. It is your land, it's your property. If you write something, you now have ownership over that publishing until you make a deal to either cut somebody in or sell it. And under most cases, a lot of people um, in, this, in this kind of new age of producers and writers, because it doesn't take a lot for you to, to, to create something, you don't necessarily take, take it as serious as you should. So just because you can make it in your bedroom on a computer, it doesn't mean it's less value. So the, the first thing you want to do is actually set up a publishing company, a place that your checks will actually come to. Because you can do these big safe records and you give them away, but you're basically giving away your right to earn money. So, you know, again, it goes back to get a lawyer. Find out all the things that go on. You can actually, before you get a lawyer, read a book. Find out the different arms that there are in the music business and that will let you know where your income can come from. And a lot of times you think it's just about being famous and, and getting out here and getting a quick check, but you miss the actual, the big money. And, you know, there are, there are people who may not be as honest as some of the people up here, but they'll, they'll let you go on doing it the way you're doing it out of ignorance, and they will collect all your money. I'm not gonna say the name, but Wendy probably will. <laughs> but that's the thing, it's like publicity is your main source of money. It's when you are old and you are no longer able to perform these records that you wrote, that, that's where your money's gonna come from if it's a, a record that is still being played, it's still being used and licensed. And, you know, when you'll probably tell you what licensing is and, and, and samples. Like, the reason why Disney can come back to Smurfs is because they own the publishing of this record. So you're actually playing with their money. And, you know, as simple as getting a sample clear, it is, it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? You can, a lot of times we don't, we don't know it until after the fact. But once you find out what you can and can't do, there's so many ways to make money off of just writing something. Even if it's just a beat. If you, if you do a beat in your bedroom, send it in, and MTV plays that beat on the real world during, uh, right before they go to a commercial, you get a check from that. 
if you own it. So, you know, publishing is your, is your main source of actually income if you're a writer or producer. It's actually the money that's gonna come to your children's children's children. If I come in and I pull you out of whatever you're doing and say you do here or whatever you're doing, if, if I come and get you and I turn you into a star, I'm enticed to some of that motherfucking money. So I want y'all to understand, like, when I buy into something, it, it's strictly business. And when I, when I go in and I buy into something, I bring in my brother to produce a record, to put his muscle behind me, and, you know, and, and I stand at his name, and I brand you, and I, I, I promote you to becoming a star. I'm entitled to my percentage of that money. So you gotta understand, what, what I want you all to understand that everything that is being done for you, when you do set up your team, the role manager, the manager, the uh, fucking camera guy, the driver, everything has to be paid for. So any, any, any company in America, if they get 20 to 30 percent profit, they're happy. One thing with artists, if I tell them, hey, we're gonna make five thousand dollars, but you gonna take off twenty five hundred and everything else, the other twenty five hundred goes to pay for your business. You got a problem with that. So one, one thing I want you all to walk away with is understanding if you want to be in this game, you got to look at yourself as a corporation. You're going to pay your fucking expenses. Everybody is going to want what they are entitled to. If you don't walk away with anything else today, walk away with that. And please do the research because when you're signing to somebody and you're negotiating to either sell or give part of your publishing and I believe in selling not giving. But when you when you make that deal, please make sure that it's with somebody who's legitimate that has actually built stars in the past. It shouldn't be with little Bobo down the street. Like if little Bobo has fifty percent of your publishing, I think you're dumb as fuck. That's the reality of it. If Polly Park has fifty percent of your publishing, I think you're a businessman. And that's the reality of publishing. But it is your money, hang on to it. You get what you negotiate. You do not get what you deserve in the music industry. You get what you negotiate. The more leverage you have, the better you can negotiate. If you have no leverage, you're gonna give up a chunk of your publishing, and that's just the reality. If, if you can make your situation, if you are hot, if you are that hot, and this is how much your material actually being good. Not in your own mind, but it actually being good. So if everybody that comes out of that spot is saying that, uh, 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 this particular artist is the shit. Every every night when this record comes on, it's like uh, Fresh Montana pop that. I was at the club last night. When that shit came on last night, what record? What record? Pop that. Pop that. This shit went crazy. This shit went crazy. But I've been in markets where local records come on and get that type of reaction. And if you have that where you're from, trust me. Somebody's gonna discuss that. It might take a minute, but if you can get that where you're from, I don't care if it's ain't going on nowhere else. If you can get the reaction I saw with Pop that last night and your shit, I'll go find whoever that record was and be like, man, I gotta fuck with that. Being these days, and I heard the lady drop some figures that I think I would probably put money on it that went completely over your heads and understanding what she's talking about. Seventy thousand dollars in radio money being spent on promoting a record when you guys think that you're at that level or capable of, of making these things happen, if she can elaborate and make them understand what that money is really for, it's not something that's coming to the DJ, it's not like that is that, some that, shit that, 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 that is I'm a dog, I'm a beast, I feel like I'm fresh. Feel some flawless. You can be my lady, you the lady. I'm the rawest. I'm the hardest. I'm a starter. Cause I'm flawless. Cause I'm flawless. I'm the rawest. I'm the hardest. I'm a starter. Cause I'm flawless. Cause I'm flawless.
flawless If you like this, then applaud it, then pause it Throw that other sh** in the toilet, they garbage I'm what's poppin', better option Greenbacks locked in like I'm out of Scotland Swag about to squash them, don't be on my hit list Nine to five, suit and tie, cause I be by my business You know that I live this, I'm flawless, untouchable The reason we don't like you, cause you flaw And you gullible, I'm out